you know, quarrels that the playwright needs. Like, my childishness is the secret to my success. Yeah, I am. I am. Inspiration, James. I am. You'll be acting in James's new play in a few days, Mr. Barry. Oh, yes, I insist on you coming to see me in it. It's awful having a play like as a husband who wants a serious actress. Gives him far too much freedom to do with me as he wants. But still, I must perform in his plays in order to make him feel younger than I am. Oh, it's absurd to think myself a popular. Looks like you haven't changed the day. You're a childhood's hero. I read your book the minute it was published. <laughs> you must have indeed been very young then. Oh, you flatter me, Lewis. Where is your wife? I haven't met her yet. My dear, I can stop me. Not me! I suppose I just never fell in love. Not in love? But your heart for me is just stronger than any other. Your awesome husband suddenly had the most passionate heart when he so strongly desired to marry you. Honestly, Lewis, it's perfectly sweet the way you speak to her. I wish my husband would show a little more devotion to me. Yeah, it's like a lost boy all the time, just not knowing how to love. Oh, well, you see, your husband may love you in, in a more moral sense, simply wanting the best for you without without showing much passion. Uh, he certainly loves the, the child within you, the, the, the pure young soul that shines in you. Lewis, you are indeed a man of morals. There are so many memories that come with childhood. I just don't want to change. I even remember telling the little children how to make these. The children, were they? Well, they're not children anymore. They were the inspiration for my book. I dedicated Alice in Wonderland to one of them. Alice Little was her name. Though I think they will soon be engaging. <gasps> Do they still visit? I'd love to meet Alice. I'd very much like to ask her why she didn't marry you. Bless me. She was half my age, a young child, when I first met her. But is, you loved her, though. Yes. I mean, boys must grow up to learn how to fight, to learn how to fly up in this world, to learn how to give a girl a kiss. Alice. I'm just playing with you, just like the way we used to when we were children. We are still children. One isn't grown up when one leaves home. One knows when one nearly forgets what a mother is for. When mother suddenly becomes a greater importance than herself. Oh, I won't forget the times with Lewis and mother. No, only boys forget their mothers. They must become their mothers. They get those traits, those eyes, that kiss one might say. There's no use having a kiss. A kiss is only good when given to someone. It's what it's for. A sign of love. Each woman has a special kiss, you know. Perfectly conspicuous in the front end. at all, but oh, I guess you could uh, come to see me in it. Oh. I knew you were anxious the very moment I laid eyes on you. And under this gentleman, oh Mary, such such charity. I'm just finished a play for Her Majesty's Opera. I call it an ideal husband. And the wife would be, if you allow me this rare expression, be the visual personification of absolute perfection. Oh, what is the theme? The philosophy, Mary. You see, Mary, and Mary. Or, or, or. Women on the other stage, Mary, the stage, Mary, because they are pure certain, pure certain. Focus of better, and both are disappointed. For Alice in Wonderland, that was very disappointed to find that you derived characters from a chesser. That's just an idea. You know my real inspiration comes from real... Uh, trying to do you, I, uh... <laughs> I hate that, oh, I could marry the reflection. I need some air. Oh. <laughs> not a certain girl that should not get you made. She is the queen. She does nothing less. Do I play Alice Smith? Alice, Mary, so I might try to play her. No, it is I who to cast you as Alice, Mary, as the one you see before you. 